Joining me now in Jackson County, Texas Sheriff AJ Andy Louderback. Good to see you, Sheriff. Should Sheriff Israel should Sheriff Israel resign, sir? You know, let's get this straight. It's not the fault of the NRA. And whether or not Sheriff Israel is going to resign or not is not what we need to focus on. You know, he'll make those decisions in the coming weeks. But what we need to do here in this country is figure out how to protect children. And I've got a couple of ideas about that. Well, well sir, is, is it Sheriff Israel's responsibility if his deputies did not do their jobs? I mean, authorities keep saying, see something, say something. Well, people did say something multiple times, and still this massacre occurred. I mean, we can talk legislation all we want, but we need basic, honest conversation about the competence of the people in charge, right? Absolutely, we do. There's a price to pay for leadership at any level, and he'll pay that price uh, in the coming months. Okay, so the attorney... What, yeah, go ahead, Sheriff. Go ahead. Well, what I'm most concerned about, and, and the, the issue that, that uh, you know, I have, I'm passionate about, and, and many sheriffs are very passionate about this, in, in the state of Texas alone, we have numerous schools that uh, have gone through, the districts have gone through a selection process and found folks, teachers, administrators, coaches, who we have put firearms in with the proper training and, and it has been very successful. I have one school in Jackson County and another school that will be online shortly in that area. The second thing is I'd like to see, we've got to get our governors and our 50 states together and work on some mental health things that have problems for sheriffs all over this nation, including Texas. You know, Those are some things I think we can do now, and hear, we can start on now. I hear what you're saying. Uh, people are split about arming, t put, giving guns to teachers. Teachers say they don't want them. There have been accidental, uh, accidental guns, I mean, guns going off. Teachers had guns in Idaho. One teacher had a gun in Idaho, another in Utah. Those guns accidentally discharged in school. Children in Pennsylvania, six, seven, eight years old, went into a bathroom. A teacher left a gun behind in the bathroom. I mean, is, uh, so those are the concerns that if you give more guns to teachers, it's Murphy's Law. Something is going to go wrong. Your, your reaction to that? So, so if we're trying to protect children, do, does law enforcement, do we have accidental discharges, negligent discharges? We're talking about teachers. Business? But yes, in our business, who we carry farms every day, do we have some of those same problems? Yes. Most of the time, it's a training issue. Yeah, but you have children but around those dis accidental discharges, right? I mean, that's what they're worried about, the collateral damage being children being accidentally shot by a teacher's gun. Let's focus on protecting the children, though. Yes, there could be some issues. Absolutely, there are. There, there are issues with farms in this country. I'm well aware of those things. But how are we going to protect our children now? Well, some How are say we going put, to? We've got short-term issues, big, uh, we've got long-term. Well, some say, you know, put more security at the entranceway, similar to what you do in airports, and have more uh, powerful security guards at the school. I mean, we're hearing from a local, mili uh, you know, military veterans who are retired. They're saying, we're up for the job, we'll do it. What's your reaction to that? Use them. Yeah. Use them. Okay. Sure. I'm fine with that. Okay. We'd love having you on, Sheriff. Come back soon, okay?